it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I am going to show you how to make this little hummingbird sign. All right, so tonight I am doing a really simple one. I love it, these um, wood cutouts from Dollar Tree. You can make so many cute signs with them. Um, I am going to be doing something for my camper. I am going to take this rope off of here. All right, and then I am going to use this Waverly wax paint, which I don't use wax paint very often, but this is going to be hanging outside and I just kind of wanted a wood look to it. So I am just going to put this on here. I want kind of a stained look and I probably have some stain downstairs. Just, oh, she's just not exactly sure where it is. Ugh, we, I made a mess here tonight. And I forgot how liquidy it is. All right, so I am just gonna stain this piece of wood with this wax paint. And I think I have a paper towel here. I was going to, if I get too much on there, wipe it off because I want more of like the wood grain to show through. So let me get this cleaned up and then I'm gonna get this sign painted. All right, I have the, um, the wax paint all on this one side here and I'm just going to take this paper towel that I have and I'm just going to wipe it down and it's going to make it look like it was just stain that I used. Oh, that looks really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the outsides. I'm going to do the back of it too, even though I'm not really going to see that, but that part's going to be facing the woods. All right, I have it all painted and now I'm just going to go over it just to make sure I get a nice finish on here, I'm gonna take the extra paint off of here. All right, so my sign blank is all done and I actually already cut out the words and the little designs that I'm gonna put on my sign with my Cricut. Um, that is for a totally different tutorial. Um, I do not, I don't think I have any of those up, maybe partially one from, a Christmas one that I did but there are plenty of tutorials out there oh so this um, clear transparent paper I got from Dollar Tree and I heard that this is actually good for transferring vinyl so I am going to try it out I have never used it before I just opened this up so I am just gonna cut out a chunk here about as big as my my vinyl all right so let's see if we can get this off of here. So it seems to be a little difficult to pull apart. All right. We'll see how well this works. I do have some actual mask because my husband does vinyl but it's not clear and I want to be able to see where my lettering is going so I wanted something clear so let's see how this works see if the vinyl sticks to it oh, looks like it's working hopefully my sign is dry enough so it sticks on there so I'm just going to try to line this up the best I can without measuring. I always think it looks straight, but then it ends up being crooked. Well, it worked good for transferring the vinyl, but my vinyl does not seem to be sticking to my board, maybe because I used the wax. So we're just going to keep trying to press it on here and get it to stick. 
Okay, so I'm having issues getting the vinyl to stick, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the paint that I used. So I'm just going to push this down real hard, and I'm actually going to try from the top. And it does look a little crooked, but part of it is stuck on there already, so it's a little too late. But this is just hanging outside my camper, so I'm not too worried about it. It's going to sit between my hummingbird feeders that I have at my camper. So it seems like the contact paper is working really good. I think it's just the paint that I used on my on my sign that it's not sticking very well to. Alright, so it's taking me a little bit, but it's going pretty slow. I had to push down really hard to get that vinyl to stick. And it's still pulling up some of the letters as I go. But like I said, I don't think it's the contact paper. I'm pretty sure it's the wax paint that I used. All right, I was finally able to get it all off. Um, I think I have it on there a little bit crooked, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. So I have the Hummingbird Tavern on there. And then I have my flower, which I'm going to stick here, and then my little hummingbird up here. So I am just going to actually, I'm going to reuse this contact paper. I'm just going to cut a little section off. And hopefully this sticks a little bit better. So I'm just going to attach my little bird to the contact paper, hopefully. Right, and then I am going to put him right about there and hopefully he sticks or she whichever you prefer well, black vinyl seeming to stick a little bit better than the silver that I had like I said I think part of the problem I'm having here is the finish that I have on my board and that's why the vinyl's not sticking very good. Yeah, this definitely came off a lot easier. Oh, and I ripped some of my letters off. All right, then I just have to put my flower on my project. So I'm going to get that on the contact paper and apply that. I'm going to stick that right about there. Push it down as best as I can. So hopefully it comes off in one big swipe. No. All right, and then I am going to, I'm going to use the same rope that came with it, but I'm going to need to get some tape because I'm going to need to stick this back through here. So I'm just going to tape this end. I'm going to try to pull it really tight so that I can get the rope back through the sign. And I'm going to do that on both sides and then tie it. All right, I have both my ends through here, and then I'm just going to put a little knot in here. I'm just going to hang this up, I think, with just a nail next to my hummingbird feeders at my camper. And then after this, there's just one more step that I'm going to do. last step is I'm going to take this matte Mod Podge and I am going to Mod Podge over my sign. Now, now that I think about it, what I should have done is I probably should have put the rope on last, but this is going to be sitting outside, so it definitely needs a good seal. So I am just going to just put as much Mod Podge on here as I can. All right, so I just Mod podge the crap out of my sign, so I'm hoping it's going to hold up outside. So it is all finished. 
Um, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Let me know any comments you have or if you think Mod Podge is not going to hold up and I should use something different, let me know. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.